Right, with me I have Namibia's African WBO bantamweight champion, Ims Nigella. Now, Ims, you're going to be fighting again on the 8th of June here in Vintuk. You're going to be the main attraction against Emilio Norfat of Kenya. Tell us, what do you know about Emilio Norfat and how do you expect to do? Um, thank you. Emilio Norfat is a good boxer. In, I saw him fight once here and he's a really, okay, he's a puncher, but um, I mean, looking at myself, I don't think he'll be able to stand my power though. I'm very much powerful for myself, that's what I believe in myself. Uh, all I can say is like, it's gonna be a very good fight. Um, I'm looking forward to it, I'm preparing, I'm training every day. And I know every time when I'm training, when I'm running, I know I have his image in my mind and I'm, I know where to hit and what to do to get him right. So it's gonna really be a good fight and I'm looking forward to it. Right, Imsa, your last fight was quite a fascinating fight against Loazi of South Africa. There were quite a few knockdowns. I think you were knocked down three times. Okay four times but you came back fantastically and won by knockout on the sixth round. Um, has that affected you at all and uh, maybe how has that um, affected your training this time around? Um, no, you know, uh, in the sport where we are, in boxing, you must, you, you, ex I ex you expect anything, anything can happen in any fight and the fight can change in a few, in a blink of an eye. No, um, the fight of Lozi was a very good fight, um, it was good for the public, it was at a very learning point for me, like I always said, you know, each and every fight I have fight for me it's a learning point and um, from that fight I've learned a lot, I've um, I made few mistakes and those few mistakes have cost me mostly, almost, but um, I was man enough to do what I did because I knew even if it would have got the 12th 12 round I would have won points because I, I knew what I was supposed to do. Um, this is, as I said, um, in boxing you will get uh, one of those fights, not one but uh, as long as you have a fighter you can get those fights as many as they come. Right, Emson, you're also quite an entrepreneur. You've started your own clothing line. Tell us a bit about that and show us as well. Uh, the clothing line, you know, um, it started as a simple thing, but um, it, it, by, the, by, by the, my friends' demand, they, they always wanted to wear print t shirts. Uh, but um, I wanted to, to do it different. I just don't want to print a, a t shirt with a print photo on. I decided to do it, um, you know, just to make it, uh, to put on the signature of my, my, my name and say name on it. And, uh, you know, the, the receiving I'm getting from the from, from the fans is very good. Um, they love the brand, they love what they sing, and uh, as you can see, you know, they they love the Prince thing, and then the behind it looks it looks unique. Um, I, I think it's gonna be big. My encouragement to the other boxers as well is just to to do their to do the same brand for themselves as well. You know, you know, think it looks it's hard to start, but then once you start and you have it on, in the out in the public. People will will take it well. Cause boxing, you know, like boxing, we are one of the disciplined guys, and uh, everybody wants to be involved or wants to be connected to somebody who is disciplined. And when you look at um, when you are connected, like when we are wearing a Prince top, like when I just delivered the the, the tops like yesterday, everybody like when you just put it on, then the demand, the cost keep on coming. Like yeah, I also want, I also want this, and also want them. And what I do is I don't do, I don't just do it. Um, I ask the, the friends, what do they want? They, they tell me what, what, what do they want, what style they want, what do you want, the t-shirt top, then I do it for them. That's what I do. And I'm looking forward to make it a big brand. Correct. Like now I'm, I'm actually, like now I'm, I'm, I got orders for the kids as well. You know, when, if, you, if you come to notice like at boxing, there are always young boys who are, who, like now in Namibia, if you ask a young boy about boxing, you tell more about friends. You know, um, I decided to do things small, uh, those clothing for them, because they, they really, to them, they will buy because they will pour, the parents will buy for them because they will force the parents to buy. And uh, in business, they say if you want to do business, you must start with the young ones because the young ones will start, start making something, the parents will buy it. 